by car from Portland through mountains, deserts, and farms is Bend, Oregon. A former logging town, many settle here for its natural beauty, others to raise a family. Its most famous family lives here, where the blinds are constantly drawn and surveillance cameras surround the property. We shouldn't have to do this, but, you know, we just want our privacy. Inside, there is no Hollywood celebrity, just the Beatties. Thomas, 34, his wife Nancy, 46, and their four-month-old daughter, Susan. Hi. <laughs> yeah. For months, they have really been seen in public. Do you see yourself as a traditional family? We do. We are man, woman, and child. It's, it's ironic that we are so different, but yet we're just a family just the same as anyone else. They are, but they're not. Is this real? A pregnant man? Pregnant man? You gotta see it to believe it. I'm sorry, the man with the beard is having a baby. I'm sorry. It wasn't Nancy who carried their baby. It was Thomas. Oh, that feels so weird. <laughs> Last spring, this photograph and the stunning announcement that Thomas Beatty, a transgender man, was pregnant sparked controversy. This story is very disturbing. And provoked questions. Did he get himself pregnant? You know, we don't know. That's, a, that's the kind of questions we have. <laughs> About our traditional notions of what is a man, what is a woman, and how could Beatty deliver his own child? Thomas, what is a man? I feel that you're not born a man, you become a man. However, I, I also do feel that I was born biologically male up in my brain. So it's what's in my head? Yes. When I wake up in the morning, I feel like a man. You make a great many people very uneasy. Why is that? Here is a man with facial hair, with a mustache, with scars under his breasts, pregnant. It is a disturbing picture, Thomas. I think that people are not used to seeing the image of a pregnant man. And um, it's causing a lot of people to think. You know, Thomas, that there are people who say that just because you've taken testosterone, cut your hair short, had your breasts removed, that doesn't make you a man. You have a woman's reproductive organs, therefore, they say, you are a woman. I used my female reproductive organs to become a father. Aren't you trying to have it both ways? <laughs> well, first of all, what would be wrong with that? I'm not trying to change people's minds. I'm just asking them to open them. After hiding inside their house from paparazzi and tabloid video cameras, the babies have begun to venture out. I think she's trying to do something. I think she is. This is their first time at a restaurant or the city's park in almost a year. Is she a good baby? She's a great baby. Yeah. She's really happy all day long. <gasps> what are you going to tell Susan and when? Well, we're going to tell her that we love her dearly and that her mother wasn't able to carry her, but Daddy was.